Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I am Rex and Jim Beam. I thought I had to double take. Because every time we get like a big brand these days, yeah. I had assumed that we've gone through every big brand, every variation, long, long time ago. What is this? Well, not this gift of Jim Beam double oaked from John L. Cheek. John L. Cheek, you magnificent! Master! <laughs> Dropping the Jim Beam Double Oak Twice Barreled. Yeah, so this is basically what we did with our Eleanor Rechard Oak, yeah. sort of. They took a bourbon yeah. that was four years old, yeah. and then they dumped it into another new oak barrel and started over. So, they, they don't say how long it was in the second barrel. In theory, what that would do is basically double down on the impact of a new oak. So you got the new mm -hmm. oak impact, it's gonna saturate that wood, pull out all that, those flavors, those notes, and then, again, same yes. thing. So what is the new oak going to be bringing to the table? Well, we'll see if there's something that doubles down in here and maybe we know. Remember that one of the things that new oak does is bring all that wood sugars charred to the surface, yeah. the charring, right? And so my guess would be, I'm going to get, wait, don't tell me anything yet. I'm going to guess yes. that if they didn't leave it in the new oak barrel again for too long, mm -hmm. it actually sweetened it because the first impact of that new oak, new charred barrel on the new one yes. is going to be all the wood sugars, but not long enough to really start diving into the wood tannins. So here's what it did. Hmm. I think, yes, it's, it's a sweet whiskey, but what it did, which I'm pretty excited about, it smells like, at least it smells like, it doubled down on the char. What? Yeah. Wow, okay. Because, you Let's know, see. yeah, the, the char element, sometimes it shows up. Ooh, it does smell, smell charred. Yeah. I wonder how long they left it in. So, you got that first flush of the char, and then usually that char is gonna be so saturated you start digging into the wood. But mm -hmm. then it got a second dose of the char. I like char. I wonder if it's different, because that's not been our experience with the aging ones that we've done like that. Okay. I'm gonna get the real, the other, the real Jim Beam. I'm gonna get the other Jim Beam in a second. The real Jim Beam. <laughs> well, the real Jim Beam, please stand up. As in uh, some brown sugar in there with the sweetness. Oh, taste it. It's very sweet. But again, I don't have any memory of classic Jim Beam right now. Oh yeah, that's very sweet. Yeah, brown sugary. It's fairly brown sugary, oaky, just whiskey. Classic whiskey. Yeah, and the flat is the wrong word, but it is simple. Yeah, it, you know, it, you, sometimes you'll get like a whiskey and it switches it up moment to moment, like the initial taste will be very different than the finish, the nose will be very different than the whiskey in general. And you'll have like layer upon layer upon layer. But this is like a brown sugar, oakiness, and then a general whiskey sweetness. And then that char, that delightful char note I was getting on the nose, doesn't show up nearly as much on the taste for me. Okay. What about you? On the taste, you getting that char? Yeah, no, it's, it's not there at all. It's pure sweet and van vanilla caramels. Oh. This is a nice comparison. Much darker nose. It is. A on, much on darker the, nose. On the double barrel thing. It is darker. 43 and 40. And there's a little bit more of a grassiness. On the generic on, one? On the, well, just a standard Jim Beam. Oh, it's bright and, and, way, and then it's got a bitterness. Way lighter, way lighter. Yeah, bright, Which, shiny, and then bitter. So 43% on the double barrel thingy, 40%. So it's very slight difference in the ABV there. There's still that, you know what it did? It rounded out the mid palate. On, oh. Yeah, because this one, it's the, brighter, the original shiny. goes yeah. bright, shiny, thin, and then barrel bitter. Yep. This one has both of those things, but then the mid palate goes, Ooh. Yeah. Honestly, between the two, I kind of like the double oak. I Me like too. It did. It, it gave it, it made it more um, robust. Yeah. It puts it closer to the bourbons I actually robust. like, like the Woodford or Knob or. Robust. Which, uh, Wild Turkey 101. Noah Garber. Hey, Garber. Rex Williams and Daniel Winnington. Hey, Noah Garber. Hey, Noah. <laughs> no, it's Noah Garber. Hey, Noah Garber. Here, would it be possible for you guys to do a top 10 sherry scotches episode? Yeah, what do you think about that? Recently fall in love with the sherry, and I would like to have a more of a knowledge of what I should keep my eye on and what I can add to my wish list. So far, I've tried Downmore 12 and Glendronic 12. Yeah, that's it's already a good start. Yeah. It's already a good start, and they are indeed Magnificent. Yeah, they're sherry bombs. Yeah. So yeah, I like that idea. 
Sure. Sherry specific. Uh, when we know, uh, we know a bit of the whiskey nerd, the magnificent bastard there with Eric Waite. He knows his way around Sherry, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, we're about to teach a Sherry class in a month. Right on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With this, do you know off the top of your head his favorite sherry whiskeys? Don't. Don't know? Don't know. So, but, but between the Glendronic 12 Abelor. and the Dalmore 12, the Abelor, the Abelor, 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 Abelor. Well, this, the specifically, you gotta get the Abelor, 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 Abelor. Yeah, get the Benriac. Yeah. Uh, get, um, for American, if you can get Balconis, the uh, Brew Heria. That's a really good one. That sounds very um, hard to get your hands we on. We did the, the Starlight one from Hoover family. One with that Starlight Sherry Cast bourbon. That was just glorious. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, Starlight. Yeah, yeah, that was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, there's not a ton of Sherry bourbons. Yeah, but... But Sherry malts, there's more. Sure, sure. Uh, yeah. I think... Top change. Yeah. But anyway. specifically asking for scotches. Top, yeah. scotches. I'm saying we do a list at some point. That sounds like a cool scotches, idea. Scotches, scotches. All right, we got the Jason Espinosa. Mm -hmm. Is there a posted list of the quintessential whiskey on the wall? I know you said that they were in a video, but I don't remember which, which one. They weren't in a video. Well, we just randomly filled it. You you put in a bunch of placeholder stuff. Yes. And I think in a video, you just kind of named off the placeholders. Yeah. Now we're going through and we're starting to put together the crowdsource list, right. you magnificent bastards, what you deem worthy, the place of honor for, the most quintessential slash classic, like the the most the epitome of that category. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily your favorite. Why is this? We, we're not saying favorite. Why are we not saying right. favorite? Because favorite is relative yes. and localized. Yes. As uh, far as accessibility goes. Yes. We're saying what is the most categorized. What is the most category-defining bottle that yeah. you can think of? It may not even be what you prefer, but you just think like, yeah, that's... Right. I don't normally like bourbon, but that's definitely quintessential bourbon. Well, perfect example, like Noah, Noah Garber here, he's saying, I like my sherry scotch. Right, what's a quintessential so, sherry scotch? his favorite scotch? scotch is going to be like a sherry scotch, but that's not necessarily going to be your most classic, right down the middle of the road, over home plate scotches. We want category category defining bottlings up here. We're starting with bourbon. Starting with bourbon. That's going to be showing up in the Whiskey Tribe channel here. It might be out by the time this episode comes out, I don't know. actually, but we, who knows? We what? just shot that earlier We're today. We're so out of we, date lines. We did shoot that earlier today, mm -hmm. but uh, if it hasn't come out already, it should be coming out very, very soon. Here's to fighting, stealing, a dream. If you fight, may I fight for a friend? You steal, may you steal your lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. us.